Hi everyone, welcome to Tech Review. Recently I upgraded a 2010 Mac Pro with some new hardware and installed Mojave. Now I wanted to see if I could go one step further and install Catalina, but unfortunately I was greeted by this screen, which was a little bit frustrating and disappointing. So I got to thinking, surely somebody out there must have thought about this. So with a bit of research, I think I may have found a solution. So let's jump in and find out. Quick word of caution before we get started. Please do not try this on your life system. Things can go wrong. This is experimental. This is test. So please do not try it on your life system because if it goes wrong, you can lose your data. So I would recommend you try this on a backup hard disk, something else. Just don't try it on your life system. Okay, you will also need a USB stick, which again will be formatted. So make sure any data is on there that you've got a backup copy of it. Okay, let's get started. Now the first thing you want to go and do is head over to dosdude1.com forward slash Kathleen and download the Mac OS Kathleen patcher. Now when you get to this website, if you just download the latest version, and I'll leave links to that in the description below. So once that's downloaded, you want to go ahead, open it up. And the first few screens, you've just got a bit of information about actually who created it or who contributed it. Now for this next bit, I actually went and downloaded a copy. You can actually browse for your own copy if you have a copy of uh, Catalina. I went and used their copy and that downloaded and that was just over seven gig to download. Okay, once that's downloaded, the next part is you want to choose your installation method. I actually created a USB installation for mine. Um, so I need to go and plug in the USB stick, go find it, and then install the boot or the bootable installer onto that. Now just remember, it is going to format that USB stick to so make sure any data on there is taken off. Once this process has finished creating your USB bootable stick, you will need to then restart your Mac and actually get to the boot option so you can actually select and boot off the USB stick. Now for this, because I've upgraded my Mac to a new graphics card, I had to put my original graphics card back in to actually get to that boot screen. Okay, so I've gone and swapped over my graphics card and I've got the original graphics card that came with the 2010 Mac Pro. Booted from the USB and you can sort of see it there. So we're gonna select that and we're gonna start the installation process. Once the macOS utilities has loaded, we want to select reinstall macOS. And then from there, we can install Catalina Beta. From here, it really is just a simple follow the steps. So select your hard disk that you want to use. Again, making sure it's not your live hard disk that you're using, that you're using a spare, and then just follow the steps to go forward. After about 10 minutes, my Mac restarted and I was presented with this screen. Don't panic, this is perfectly normal and the installer will just carry on installing Catalina for you.
once the installation is finished, your Mac will reboot for the last time. And if everything is gone to plan, you should then load into Catalina. Now that I've signed back into my Mac, let's open about this Mac and check the properties. And as you can see, we've got Mac OS Catalina 1015 beta. And you can see the spec of the Mac and that tells you that it's a Mac Pro mid 2010. So the process actually is very simple and takes about 30 odd minutes to actually complete. Now, I hope you found this video useful. Please remember to like and subscribe. If you've got any questions, any comments, I would love to hear them. Please leave them below. Thanks very much for watching and I will see you all next time.